Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you have any question, uh, please write me at walkwithtak at gmail.com. Uh, I love to hear from you, and I will answer your question promptly. I'm very excited that this Saturday I'm going to cook at the uh, U of I Missouri, which is a spring festival organized by the Japan House. And I'm going to set up a uh, tent where I'm going to cook different kind of fried rice to demonstrate my fast cooking system, as well as you can uh, get a taste of this fried rice. So if you're around, I hope that you can join me. Many of my viewers told me that flavoring a dish is probably one of the remaining challenges that they have in adopting my fast cooking system. And they have no problem mastering stir frying, at least in most cases, although there are some nuances that they could improve on, but in general they are quite happy the way how they stir fry. And many of them start to advanced prepping, and they find advanced prepping to be extremely helpful for them to cook more intuitively, and as well as to use templates-based cooking. However, flavoring a dish remains to be probably one of the biggest challenge, and I have not covered this in great extent details in the past because I always make the assumption is that uh, people will flavor the dish uh, based on how they like it. But uh, I think I was wrong, and I'd like to provide a bit more support for those people who are start uh, to learn how to flavoring their dish. Now, in this video, I'm going to use a very simple dish, which is uh, egg scramblet, which is a combination of scrambled egg and egg omelet, and it is very simple, and it takes it takes only about uh, three to four minutes to cook. But this is a great dish to demonstrate the several stages how you can build flavor on a dish, and then through flavor chasing, you can gradually refine it and come to the type of flavor that you love and enjoy. Uh, to demonstrate different seasoning strategies, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use three different seasoning agents, and you can gradually build on them, and from that, uh, you can develop the type of flavor that you want through flavor chasing. The first one is uh, the use of the basic seasoning mix, which is a seasoning mix that I put together to enhance the umami flavor of the dish. Now, uh, you can get this seasoning mix uh, from Amazon. I have put it available uh, so that you can try it out. Now, after you test it and you decide whether you uh, like the way it is or you like to modify it, uh, I have prepared a video which describes the different uh, components in this seasoning mix. Uh, so you can actually create your own seasoning mix accordingly. Now, the second seasoning strategy I'm going to uh, show you is how to use oyster sauce, which use up to use as what I call a touch-up sauce. Uh, you add it actually after the egg has been cooked. And the final sauce that I'm going to show you is the use of uh, soy sauce. So, with these three seasoning strategies, uh, you can create flavor exactly how you like it. And I will explain to you as I go along. Now, this egg dish is very simple, very quick to cook. Uh, basically, it is a combination of scrambled egg and egg omelet. The advantage of this is that uh, you can use this as a way to learn how to use different seasoning strategy. Now, after I put the egg into the wok, uh, the first thing I did is that I add some of my basic seasoning mix. And I'm going to explain to you a little bit later why this is a good strategy uh, to use. Uh, now, I just uh, push the egg from the edge to the center, and because of the nature of the wall, the uncooked egg will fill the space. And this is followed by adding uh, some frozen vegetable mix. I take this frozen vegetable mix directly from the freezer, and that's why it makes it really easy and simple to cook. And since the vegetable mix is already cooked, all you are doing is warming up the frozen vegetable uh, to the serving temperature, and by cooking them together with the egg, it allows you actually um, not to overcook the egg. As you can see in here, I used the wok spatula to fold uh, the egg over the frozen vegetables. Now, in this case, the basic seasoning mix provides the seasoning for the egg. The basic seasoning mix is designed uh, to have components in it that to enhance the umami flavor of the dish. So it is very low in salt. And so what you are seeing in here is that by folding the egg together, uh, you create a very mild uh, but interesting 
umami flavor of the egg. So this is the first step I would like you to try. And by now the egg is cooked, so you can turn out of the heat. And I'd like you to get out a spoon and taste the flavor of the egg to see whether this is exactly how you like it. You will notice that the uh, umami flavor is very strong by using the basic seasoning mix. Uh, however, uh, if you find it is not salty enough, there's two strategies. One is that you can add a little bit more basic seasoning mix. It will make it a little bit saltier. The other approach is that you actually can add some salt. Uh, some people like it a bit saltier, at least in the beginning, uh, they would like that dish to be stronger in the salt flavor. Uh, but in time, uh, once you get accustomed to the umami flavor, which is more complex and more savory, uh, you will start to uh, reduce your salt consumption, which is what I designed this seasoning mix for. Now, that the approach in further modify the flavor profile of this dish, depending on your personal preference. Uh, for a lot of people, this is probably salty enough because the basic cinnamon mix contains a small amount of salt. In fact, uh, when you first cut the basic cinnamon mix, the first thing you should do is that taste it just as it is. Uh, once you recognize the flavor profile, uh, you know how much to add. Now, if you decide that the egg dish is not salty enough, then you can add some additional salt. Or if you want it to be a little bit peppery, uh, you can add some uh, pepper that will further uh, modify the flavor of the dish. Another common way is to add additional flavoring agent. In this case, I add a small amount of oyster sauce. Again, you can taste it and mix the oyster sauce with the egg, and this actually creates a more savory flavor, but it also adds additional amount of salt. Now, uh, if you want it to be even a little bit saltier, uh, you can add some soy sauce, as, as I have done here. And one thing I'd like to mention is that flavoring is actually it's a very flexible process because under different type of situation, you might want to flavor the dish differently. For example, if I use this egg dish to eat with rice, I probably will savor it in a little bit stronger. I will add a little bit more uh, soy sauce to give it a little more salty flavor. But however, uh, if I'm going to eat this with, uh, say, a piece of toast, then I probably will omit the uh, soy sauce as well as the soy sauce completely. And sometimes I also use this uh, in a taco. And in this case, I will also adjust the different flavor that I put into the, the egg. So based on what you're going to use the egg for, you can try different strategies. And then actually flavoring, as I have mentioned in my previous video, is a lot of try and error uh, because a different type of a dish, different type of vegetable, different type of ingredients will change the overall interaction between the flavoring agents with the food ingredients. So the end result is that by making adjustments uh, using the process of flavor chasing, eventually you will find the flavor that you love and enjoyed. And I hope this video Video, help you uh, to decide how is the best way for you to flavor your dish and you will soon find the flavor that you love and more you do this uh, try and error the more likely you will discover what you want I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine uh, using my fast cooking system uh, you can uh, cook with practicality, efficiency, creativity, as well as fun. If you would like to learn more about my cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.